It's amazing what you can get for free. And just because it's free doesn't mean you need to compromise. So in this video, I'm looking at 10 of the best free DAWs for Windows in 2022. And I have a couple of bonuses near the end. Plus, I have a little bit of advice near the end about how to pick the best DAW for you. So if you're a beginner, be sure to stick around for that. Now there's three free digital audio workstations that are completely unlimited, meaning they don't have a track limitation. You can bring in your own third party plugins. So there's no limitations in these ones. And that's what we're going to check out first, starting with Traction Waveform Free. And what I love about this program is that they've really thought about how to make the workflow quick and easy. Some DAWs can get in your way and feel a little clunky with multiple screens or views to navigate between, but Waveform Free puts everything that you need on the one screen. And the difference between the free version and the pro version is mostly the additional instruments and plugins that come with the pro version. And there are a couple of features, but these are just some added bonus things. Nothing's going to get in your way from making music. This DAW is is completely unlimited. You just don't get those extra goodies that you may or may not want. The next free unlimited DAW is Cakewalk by BandLab. And this one used to be a premium paid for program. It was known as Sonar Platinum. So it's full of advanced features and it continually gets updated with new features that are being added all the time. It comes with some decent effects, including a very cool pro channel strip on every track with even more effects available like console and tape emulation, EQ, compression, saturation, modulation, and reverb. And you can save these pro channel strip settings so you can easily load them up onto other tracks, allowing you to save lots of time. There's an excellent guitar amp sim called TH3, plus some standard instruments that can get you started. The user interface and workflow can feel a little clunky at times, but once you get used to it, it's not really an issue. The third free piece of unlimited music making software is SoundBridge. Now I haven't worked with this one as much as the others, but what I've noticed is that it has a nice sleek modern workflow to it that can have you making music quickly. SoundBridge does include some decent effects and probably the best free drum machine plugin out there and it's called Ritmix. And this also includes several drum kits with it so you can start making beats right away. And another thing to note with this one is that it's available in 32-bit or 64-bit options. So if you're looking for a 32-bit DAW, SoundBridge might be the choice for you as there aren't too many 32-bit options anymore. Now here's a few free music making programs that aren't limited because they're free, they're just limited by design, but on their own, they might be the best programs for you. And we'll start with LMMS. This one has a similar workflow to FL Studio, which makes it easy to program music with virtual instruments and to use virtual effects. You can bring in your own third party effects. These are the ones that you might buy or find for free. And the big limitation of this program is that you can't record audio into it. So you can record audio into another program and then bring it in through a sampler. But if you just want to start making music with virtual instruments like drums or maybe some synths or whatever other virtual instrument you might have, this program can be excellent for you. Now, another free DAW that's very similar to the last one, this one is the Stargate DAW. And I can see this one growing more and more as it goes along. Again, if you want to create music with virtual instruments and audio samples, this one might be for you. It's pretty easy to use once you get used to the simple user interface navigation. Programming MIDI in the piano roll is extremely easy and putting together your songs is easy too. So like in the previous LMMS program, there's no internal audio recording in this one. But you can bring in audio samples and things recorded outside of the program. And I actually think that it's easy to put together a drum pattern from drum samples in this one, but unlike LMMS, you can't bring in your own third-party instruments or effects into this one. However, it does come with a decent suite of instruments and effects, so you might not need them anyway. Now this next free DAW might pair well with the previous two. This one is Audacity. And this one is all about working with audio. There's no MIDI capabilities in Audacity, so if you're only wanting to work with audio and you have no need for MIDI, this one might be for you. It's one of the easiest programs to get started with in terms of recording, and there are a lot of people that use this as their main DAW. It doesn't have built-in ASIO support, so you may experience some latency if you're trying to monitor what you're recording while you record it. Audacity is a very solid audio recorder and editor. I use it for all of my videos, and I've never had an issue with it. 
Now let's take a look at a couple of programs that are starter versions of their big program. So there are some limitations in these compared to their paid counterparts, but these can still be great choices because people can work within these limitations. And first we'll start with Presonus Studio One Prime which is the free version of their incredible digital audio workstation. It allows you to have as many tracks as you need, and it comes with some excellent effects plugins, including the Empire Guitar Amp Sim. Plus, you also get the Presence XT Sample Player Instrument, which has a ton of great sounds in it. You basically get everything you need to record and mix your tracks inside the box. And this is good because the one limitation that this one has is you can't bring in third party plugins. Now the workflow of Persona Studio One Prime is very quick. It gives you easy access to everything that you're going to need without having to click around too much or switch screens. So you can just focus on making music, which is what this is all about. The next free digital audio workstation is Magic's Music Maker Free. This one is fairly easy to get started with and includes some great virtual instruments and effects along with a decent guitar amp simulator called Vandal SE. You also get one free sound pool with this which is like a big loop pack and it includes loops that work very well together. You can record and edit MIDI, record and edit audio, but you do have an 8 track limitation in the free version and also you can't add any third party effects to Magic's Music Maker Free. But for beginners it can be a great DAW to start out with, one thing to keep in mind is that any music that you create using the included sound pool, you can't monetize. You're free to post your music online wherever you want, but you aren't allowed to sell it unless you purchase a commercial license for the sound pool, and typically those go for around $12. But if you're just using the included instruments or anything that you record into it, you're fine to sell your music and do whatever you want with your music. It's only those sound pools that are the concern. Now let's take a look at a couple of free music making programs that are mainly focused on creating beats, but they can be used for other genres of music as well, and we're going to start with Akai MPC Beats. If you're familiar with the hardware Akai MPC, this one gives you a similar workflow, but with the added benefit that it's in the software world, so editing can be a lot easier. MPC Beats is very easy to use. You can record audio into it, but you only get two audio tracks per project. And for instrument tracks, you can have up to eight in a project. So that's a total of 10 tracks altogether, which is quite a few for beat creating. It does include some nice drum kits and instruments, but you can also bring in your own VST instruments as well. Plus, Akai MPC Beats includes over 80 quality effects plugins, and just like the instruments, you can also bring in your own VST effects. This next one is kind of similar to MPC Beats. This one is Serato Studio. This is fairly straightforward beat making software for beginners, DJs, and even advanced users. Its simple user interface makes it quick and easy to start making beats, and you get a selection of pre-made drum patterns to help inspire you or come up with your own in the easy to use step sequencer. You also get a selection of drum loops, drum kits, instruments, and effects. There are some limitations in the free version, like you can only have one audio track, four decks, and four scenes. But you can still create great beats and do DJ edits within these limitations. Also in the free version, you can only export to MP3. Also to note in this free version is you can only export to MP3. All right, now for a couple of bonus free DAWs, and we'll start with Reaper. This one technically isn't free, but it is extremely affordable at just $60. However, if you want to get started with Reaper and you're low on funds, you can download the 60-day demo and continue using it fully unlocked even after the 60 days are up. You just get a little five-second pop-up screen every time you load up the software, reminding you to purchase a license. And if you do end up using Reaper full-time, please purchase a license from them. It helps them to improve their DAW, so it will help you. Now, what you get with Reaper is a completely unlimited DAW with an insane amount of effects included with it. But there are no instruments. However, you can bring in your own VST instruments and VST effects if you like. The workflow isn't the fastest, but it isn't terrible, and you can customize things to suit your needs. Now this next one is free, but it comes with bundles. So maybe software bundles, it'll come with audio interfaces, MIDI controllers, that sort of thing. So if you've purchased any of those things, check to see if you got a license for Ableton Live Lite. 
you get the exact same workflow as the full version of Ableton Live, but you can only use up to eight tracks and two buses. Now I did do two videos where I made entire songs in Ableton Live Lite and working within the eight tracks is possible and it helps to keep you focused on the important stuff. You do get some of the instruments and effects with this free version of Ableton Live and they're great starters, but you can also bring in your own third party plugins too. Now my advice for picking the best DAW for you is to download two or three, maybe even four of these and give each one a good little test drive to see which one you like the best. And then once you find that one program that you really like, stick with it and try to really learn that program and get over that initial learning curve. All of these programs are going to have a learning curve and there's going to be times early on where you think it's too overwhelming, but don't give up. Just stick with it. You're going to get over that initial learning phase where it becomes you're just making music in the software and not trying to figure out how to do things in the software. And now another piece of advice is to use whatever program you think is best. Don't worry about what other people say is best. So if you have somebody who's telling you whatever program you chose, they say it's garbage. If it works the best for you, use that program. Whatever program they use is probably best for them but maybe it's not best for you. You're creating music for people and people aren't listening for whatever DAW you decided to use. They're listening to the cool vibes that you're creating in that DAW. And any of these programs that I just mentioned can help you to create those cool vibes. You just got to figure out the right one for you. Now check out over 83 free VST plugins by clicking the video on the screen. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. And we'll talk soon.